The Prey, Legend of Carnotis is directed by the Hansman brothers, and it is, in fact, their co-directing feature film debut. A dark cave, some tough guys, some military guys, and a mythic creature chasing them all. The setup is pretty straightforward. A group of treasure hunters slash thieves and a platoon of US soldiers get trapped in a Taliban cave and start being hunted one by one by an ancient and deadly creature. So they have no other choice but to work together if they want to make it out alive and see daylight again. In a way, it feels like a crossover between The Expendables and The Descent. I mean, you have this black ops kind of guys that are forced to stick together with the US soldiers to try getting out of the cave alive before the creature gets them. So horror and action are pretty well balanced here. The non-linear narrative, especially during the first half, manages to keep things intriguing enough before all hell breaks loose and the film moves into horror survival mode. And it is also a clever way to introduce a considerable amount of characters without risking any confusions. Legendary actor Danny Trejo is on the film. I just love that. But I would have really liked to see more of his character on screen. Leaving that aside, my favorite character was Sullivan, the wisecracking guy that totally loses it when shit hits the fan. It reminded me a lot of Bill Paxton's character from Aliens. Maybe I am nitpicking a bit here, but I would have really liked to have some more character development on the creature, this Afghan Sasquatch, the Carnotus. I got the feeling that there is probably a lot more to know about the creature itself. They do a nice job not showing the creature entirely. Something really smart and really old school as well. For about two thirds of the movie, we just see bits and pieces of the creature, which by the way looks great. Some really cool practical effects. The Prey Legend of Carnotis is not here to rewrite movie history, but it does a solid work blending horror and action into a claustrophobic nightmare filled with gore and blood to keep you entertained for about 90 plus minutes. And on top of that, the ending leaves the door open for a potential sequel. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. The Prey Legend of Carnotus is getting a wide VOD release right now. So if you happen to see it, please feel free to return to this video and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel. So if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully I'll see you next time.